Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to Flashback Friday. Today we're going to learn the tango from Peter Pan. Peter Pan is annually produced at Playhouse on the Square. The most recent production was directed by Warner Crocker, choreographed by Brittany Church, and music directed by Nathan McHenry. A tango. A tango. A tango. I'm ripped your flag, Captain. and the heel of our foot is going to be up. We're going to push our weight through the ball of our foot and into our heel. We're going to do that five times. Starting to our left wall, we're going to face it, dig our foot, push through, dig our foot, push through, push through to the front, and then back to the left. Our arms are going to be up in like a tango stance. So our left arm is going to be above our head and our right arm is going to be on our belly. We're gonna start there. When we turn, our hands are going to switch and flick. And then we're gonna turn again, and our hands are gonna switch and flick. Turn again, switch, flick. And then one last time, switch and flick. Now let's look at a back view. So we just finished here. I'm gonna do the bottom half of our body first, and I'm gonna face you. We're going to bring our left foot out and we're gonna kind of turn it out. So that means pointing our toes instead of having them straight forward, we're gonna turn them out to the left. Our right foot is going to follow and the toes on our right foot are gonna kiss the heel of our left foot. That's, we're gonna do that twice. So we're gonna step out together, out together. That's just the lower half. What we have going on up here, our left arm is going to come to our hip and our right arm is going to be up in the air with our fingers splayed like this so they're all apart and this is what we're going to look like if we're just doing our arms we're going to step out on our left foot and when we bring our right foot in our hand and wrist is going to turn out and then we're going to do it again our hand and wrist is going to turn out now let's look at it from a back view Last week I taught you what a pony was, but if you weren't able to watch that episode, I'm going to teach you again. All of your weight is going to come onto your left foot, and then you're going to go on the toes of your right. You're going to go down on your left, up on your right, down on your left, up on your right. You're going to do that four times in a circle. So if it's just our feet, it's going to be a little quick. We're going to go down, two, three, four. That's just the feet. Now let's add in the arms. We just did this move, and we're gonna bring our hands together, kind of our wrists are facing each other, and we're gonna put our pinkies out and do this while we're doing the pony. So it'll look like this. One, two, three, four. Our hands will go into two rotations in this gooey land up here. Now let's look at it from the back view. Now 
So we just finished the pony, so our arms should be up here. We're gonna do the same footwork that we did with the walk. So we're gonna step to the left, bring our right foot in, and do it again, step to the left, and then bring our right foot in to meet. The only difference with this is that instead of only this arm twisting, this wrist is also gonna be twisting. So you're gonna step and twist, and step and twist. Do that two times, step and step. Then you're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna step over your left and turn to the side, and then you're going to try to get a flat back. Maybe today is not your day, and that's okay. It's not my day either. So we're gonna go down and put our arms up as if there were someone to connect your um, hands to. So let's look at that from the back view. So we just ended here. We're then going to do high knees for two eight counts. And this is all you're doing. Five, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're gonna stand up on the eight. Then you are going to do a pivot, which we already learned last week. So you're gonna step forward on your right, turn over your left, step on your right, turn over your left. You're gonna step together, and then your arms are gonna come up and around, straight arms. So you're gonna cross the front and then come and around, like you're connecting again to another person. Let's look at that from the back view. Let's do everything that we've learned so far with music. But first, we have a special guest, Donald Sutton, who played Captain Hook here at Playhouse on the Square. He's going to sing the song for us while we dance. The hook, a cake, white lard, and fill each layer in between with icing, with poison, till it turns a tempting green. We'll place it near the house, just where the boys are sure to come. And being greedy, they won't dare to question such a plum. Good job, guys. Thank you, Donald. Make sure to rewind if you have any questions, but for now, we're going to move on to the next section. So we just finished here. We're going to do eight crazy pirate runs to your right. So whatever that means to you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna put your right foot and touch it in front of you. Put your left foot forward, touch it in front of you. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the left. You're gonna do eight crazy pirate runs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then when we review this and Donald comes back, he's gonna say the uh, words, a cake. When he says those two words, you're going to strike your fanciest tango pose and put your chest up and your head back. So let's take a look at all of that from the back. Okay, so we just finished here. We're going to do the lower half of our body first. It's just gonna be a couple of steps forward. You're going to step right, left, right. Don't step forward again on your left, but kind of touch your foot to your calf. Then you're going to step left, back, right, left, and lean back. So that's just the feet. Right, left, right, hit your calf, left, right, left. Our arms are going to be in a low V, and when we step forward, they're going to raise up, and the upper half of our body is going to kind of lift up to the sky. When we step back, we're going to the ground and our chest is going to go to the floor. So let's look at that from a back view. So we just finished here. We're going to do a pony, which we have already done before, so we already know how to do it. It's going to be over our left shoulder with our left foot having all of the weight. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. That's just the lower half of our body. 
our arms, our right arm is gonna come up to our head and our left arm is gonna come to our belly and we're gonna kinda look away from our hand. One, two, three, four. So let's take a look at that from the back view. So we just finished here. We're going to put our right arm straight out in front of us and our left arm, I'm gonna show you the upper half first, is gonna scoop and then come to our mouth like we're eating something. We're gonna do that twice. So one, two, three, four. Then you're just gonna add two steps with it. One, two, three, four. So again, our right arm's gonna come out. One, two, three, four. And then from there, you're gonna pretend like Captain Hook has pushed you over, so you're gonna fall back and fall onto the ground and be like, what just happened? Why am I on the ground? And then make sure you're listening because at the end of the song, there's an ole, and make sure you say it. So you're gonna be like, what just happened? Captain Hook just pushed me over. And then you're like, oh, ole. And that's the end of the song. So now that we have learned the whole song, we're going to do the top of section two. So from here to the end with music, we have Donald Sutton back with us to sing for us while we dance again. Boys who come from the street, no one who should make a mistake. Oh no, it's dangerous to eat. So down and rich, a cake. And so, 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 Cook a cake quite long and fill each layer in between with icy cook brick poison till it turns a tempting green. We'll place it near the house, just where the boys are sure to come. And being greedy, they won't care. To question such a plum. Boys who have come on the street, no one to show them their mistakes. Oh, it's dangerous to eat. So tap and rip a cake and slow the blinking of a